Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum. Oh, we obviously had some winter weather here. Thankfully, it was not as bad as what they're dealing with out there. That's a that's a dicey situation. It is. I mean, people no power, no water, no gasoline because they can't get the supply into the Texas area. So they have all kinds of issues out there. And well, we've had some small issues in our area, uh, small compared to what they're dealing with, of course, in Texas. Fortunately, the sun is back out, helping to melt a little snow. But the thing is, it's not warming up that much. 41 degrees, a little breezy northwest winds of 13, make it feel like it's 34. I was just outside a little bit ago. If you stayed outside even just pump your car full of gas. It's pretty chilly out there, so have the hat gloves and of course jacket as well too. It's 34 in Hamilton, still with that snowpack. At least it's above freezing. Fade 37, 31 in Coleman. You're below freezing still. 40s all the way down to Clanton area. Heading back over toward Aniston, Gadsden area. You're sitting in the 40s as well. And you can see here for traveling across the southeast, Jackson 34, Memphis and Little Rock still 29. Atlanta's 43 for connecting a flight there. Maybe going to Charlotte, 47 degrees there. And Jacksonville was actually near 70 this morning. Now the front's moved through back down about 49 degrees at this point. Now here are your winds 5 to 15 miles per hour from all in central Alabama, but it feels like 29 Hamilton, 26 Coleman, 34 here, even up toward Asheville, Gatson around 33 degrees. So cold air continues across the area and we will see those chilly temperatures get it to about 44. At least we have the sunshine through the afternoon, but look how quickly that fall once that sun goes down 28 by 11 o'clock tonight with a mostly clear to clear sky. So highs today we're talking 44 in town back to Tuscaloosa, Moundville area back over to Gatson about 45 same you in Talladega, but only the upper 30s. Coleman back to Hamilton today. Now check out tonight's lows. 15 in Hamilton, 14, 13, rather, I should say 18 in Fayette. They're back to Coleman area. 21 in town is same for Asheville. Alabaster about 23 degrees. So we definitely need to take those freeze precautions again tonight. Plants are probably not alive anymore outside, so you can't really worry about them. Um, this should keep bringing them in and out. Pets definitely have a warm place for them, but definitely let the faucets drip overnight tonight. Open the cabinets of the warm air, get underneath your sink as well, too, to keep your pipes from freezing all night long. So we have the clear sky out there right now. Beautiful weather is anticipated. Well, it looks like like clouds to Memphis here, back to North Louisiana and over into Oklahoma, Texas. That's actually snow, believe it or not, snowpack on the ground. Uh, so notice that it's still all through the Mississippi River Valley there as high pressure builds in. We have this trough of low pressure dip in the jet stream of river winds aloft here. We're looking at water vapor showing mid level moisture. And as that swings through, that's what's bringing us the cold weather out there today. The yellows and reds you see, that is dry air and that's moving on in. And guess what? We stay dry through Sunday. Rain does return Monday briefly before we start to dry back out on. Tuesday as that next front comes through. So your future cast will show same thing 30s and 40s this afternoon by 7 o'clock tonight. If you're going out to dinner, 20s and 30s kind of chilly out there. And as we get to 10 o'clock tonight, just about everybody in the 20s are just near there tomorrow morning. Teens and 20s again, very cold with a clear sky. So definitely be prepared for that. And then as we headed to tomorrow, look by 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We're at 51 here, upper 40s, lower 50s across the area. And as we head on into your Sunday, we start off the morning not quite as cold in the 30s across the area, but by the afternoon, plenty of sunshine is expected through your Sunday before our next front comes in Monday morning, kind of clears the area as we head into Monday afternoon with more of that sunshine returning to the forecast. So 44 today, 53 tomorrow, 61 on Sunday. How awesome is that to sound? Finally defrosting after this bitter cold week. It looks like next week stays warm. There's that 56 Monday with rain, but as you head into Tuesday and Wednesday, how about 63 and 68 degrees before a little more rain returns heading into Thursday. Looking forward to those 